Okay, in this project we're going to learn how to make a standard ruler that's highly modified that can fit inside of our portfolio binder. Also on this ruler we're going to have an eighth inch and quarter inch architectural scale added to it. We're going to get a lot of use to this project and let's have fun making it. I've already got AutoCAD opened up and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start drawing out the shape of my ruler. I'm going to go ahead and use a P-line to do that, or a polyline. So I'm going to draw it about 11 inches long, and then from that I'm going to go up about an inch and a quarter. And of course I'll go back the opposite direction, an inch and a quarter, excuse me, 11 inches this way. Let me scale up on that a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and close that off. Now. I kind of got ahead of myself, so I'm going to go back and open up my Layer Properties panel, and I'm going to go ahead and create my layers for my project, which also kind of set the order and how we're going to actually build this particular uh, ruler that we're working on. I want to go ahead and create the MDF that I'm going to cut this ruler out of. Now, I'm using MDF, but you could also use uh, any kind of plywood like uh, maple or birch plywood which would make excellent choices as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, next layer. And as you can see I put the binder holes in there. And you want to change the colors of each time you create a new layer so that way you can understand now I'm going to put a layer out here for my name because I want no one to take this and I want it to be my name from that point forward. Change the color again. Now as you can see I'm using my right mouse click or I can also go up into just above the status and I can click on new layer there as well. Here I'm putting in my imperial marks and again once I get those in I'm going to go ahead and change the color. But I'll do that after a, a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my architect architectural scale marks in here. Again, change the color so I know which one is which as I'm designing it. All right, got that pretty well put in there. Go ahead and uh, turn that off. Make sure I set myself to the right layer, of course. Now let's move this to the uh, to the layer where we have our MDF. Okay, now what we're going to do is draw the first uh, circle that's going to go on our uh, binder hole. We have to draw that so we can actually place this in our binder once we laser engrave it. I'm going to use what's called uh, tentative tracking uh, from this one location. Then I'm going to come up about a half an inch. And as you can see, I drew a line over there to the, to the uh, just above where I started my uh, tracking. And then I'm going to come out about uh, an inch and 3 sixteenths. I'll come down here and set my scale to uh, a quarter of an inch in diameter for our circle. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and there's our first circle. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the rest of our lines for our rest of our circles. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw the uh, a line from that the center of that circle over about an in, uh, four and a quarter inches. And that'll be the center mark for a hole in our binder. And again, I'm using that line as a reference point. Now I'm just gonna come out here and draw myself a uh, quarter inch diameter circle off of that. And quarter inch, of course. And then I'll go ahead and delete that one line I used as a reference and I'll do it again. Again, four and a quarter of an inch. 
And as you can see, these are the three holes we're going to put in our ruler into our binder, our portfolio. Okay, there it is. Let's go ahead and delete that and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, in this step right now, we're going to go ahead and set ourselves to the imperial marks for our ruler. And we're going to go ahead and use tentative tracking quite a bit to create that first line. And as you can see here, I'm going ahead and I'm going to do tentative tracking from the corner of the ruler right there. And then I'm going to try to move over about 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375. It's kind of ten, uh, touchy how this actually works, but once you kind of figure it out, it's quite useful. Let's try that again. Okay, I'll TT from there. And then go ahead and again come over. Make sure you stay very horizontal with that. I'll come over to 0.375, 3 eighths of an inch. And I'll drop down and I'm gonna come down about 5 16 which is 0.3125. And I'll come up and draw that line. All right, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, offset command. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna specify a distance of one inch. And we're gonna go ahead and select the first one here. And then I'm gonna come down and select multiple because I'm gonna do multiple copies of the offset. And I'll just keep going down the line, putting in one every inch. It's a really nice command. I like how this thing works. And I'm gonna hit escape, which I think would probably get rid of that one there it did. So let me go ahead and redo that. I'll go ahead and hit offset again. So it's that distance, come over here, same angle of zero. Again, one inch. There you go. Okay. So now I got that done. It looks like I got all my inches in. Okay, now I'm going to come in and draw in the uh, half inch marks for our ruler, as you can see here. I'm going to use the tentative tracking and move over. Now I've kind of making a mistake right here. I'm going to have to come back and redraw that. Let's try that again. All right, TT from there. We'll move over to the right, 0.5. And you'll see the little plus mark there. Okay, now we'll come down to, um, we'll probably come down to quarter of an inch. Yeah, it looks good. And come back up to the edge of the ruler. Hit escape. Now I come over here to my offset command, which I want to go one every inch. So every half, you know, every one half inch, you'll see it there. So I'll select that one there, move it over. Now what I need to do is come back and do that again, but this time select multiples. And I'll just keep coming down the line and adding the half inch marks. All right, it's going pretty good. Get one out there now, hit escape. Okay, that looks good for now. Okay, what do we need to do now is come back and measure and make sure that our marks are correct. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna measure, oh, let me look here. Let me try that again. Go back over here to my distance command. You can also key in DIST. Now it goes over here and it's telling me it's at half an inch. It's perfect what I need right there. Now I'm going to measure uh, various other spots here. I'm going to go over to another inch. It's obviously one inch. We like that. And I'm going to try to do a measure overall from this line mark to that one right there. That should be 10 inches. Okay, looks good. All right, now what we need to do is to go ahead and make our quarter inch marks. I'm gonna go ahead and start from what would be zero, and I'm gonna do tentative tracking, and I'm gonna to go to my right, and I wanna go quarter of an inch. Okay, so I've got my vertical line there, and I wanna come down to about 3 0.1875. And I'll need to go back up to that point there. Good, Hit escape. And now I want to offset copy those, and I think our size is half an inch. Let 
Okay. And as you can see, I'm copying all these in and putting them in at quarter inches using the uh, offset command. It's going in pretty good. I like it. It's kind of tedious, but it's part of making this really powerful tool, this scale and ruler. All right, let me do offset again to get this one down here on the end. And I'll come over here and let me go ahead and hit my uh, arrow key again. There we go. You can always hit your up arrow to replay commands in the command stack. So this way you can uh, not have to key everything in again or go select it off the main ribbon. Okay, that's in. That looks good. All right, we'll come back to this. Okay, I'm going to zoom up now to this uh, uh, far left side of the ruler. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in the eighth inch marks. So I'm going to go ahead and select my line command. And I'll go using the tentative tracking. Again, you got to stay horizontal on the line as best as you possibly can. And then come down and draw that in. Okay, so I've got that in there. Let me clean that up a little bit. Take that out. And I'll go ahead now and I'll try that one more time. Again, tentative tracking. Come over. It had my mouse in the wrong location. Let's try that one more time. Come over an eighth of an inch, 0.125, come down. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a length of 125 here, 0.125, an eighth of an inch, and draw it back up there. Okay, now it looks like I got it in this time. Let's go ahead and grab uh, the offset command. And we're going to need to copy these since they're eighth of an inch. We're going to copy these to a uh, quarter of an inch. Let me get, make sure I set that to a quarter of an inch. Let's try that one more time. There we go. And I'll go ahead and select multiples, make sure I get those in as well. We have to scale out here a little bit, move that over. Just keep going down the line until I get all of those in. Again, zoom out or pan over as well. It's kind of tedious, but it's, uh, it's a necessary step that we have to go through to get all of our tick marks in for eighth of an inch. Now we're gonna go to the other side of 10 uh, I'm not sure how far we're going to go, but at least we're going to try to get to the other side of the, of the 10 inch mark. There you go. Yep, got it over twice. Okay, hit escape. Yeah, let me uh, zoom that out a little bit, move up on that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw in the 16th inch marks, which are at 0 0.0625. I'm going to go ahead and zoom up on this. I'm going to do a little bit of a different approach this time instead of doing the tentative tracking. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my offset command, and I'm going to grab one of those tick marks and key in 0 0.0625, which is a 16th of an inch here. As you can see, I'm grabbing this. I'm going to move to uh, the left a little bit. And there it is. So I put that in at a sixteenth of an inch. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and draw a line horizontally. I'm going to try to do the tentative tracking. That's kind of a headache. I'll just do it this way. You're doing a bisector on the uh, line. And I'll go ahead and use my trim command and trim that out. Now to get me that first tick mark, 
that I need for a sixteenth of an inch. Go ahead and trim that out. Hit escape. Go ahead and um, grab that guy there. Just hit delete. And then go back up and select my offset command. And this time for the sixteenth of an inch, I'm going to go ahead and do a eighth of an inch to copy that so I can go to the other side. Okay, there we go. Make sure we get multiple selected. And I'll just continue down the line. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing and we'll come back to that here in a second. Okay, now what I need to do is go ahead and put in the 32nd marks. That's the uh, 32nd of an inch mark. And I'm going to go ahead and again do offset. And this time I'm going to copy Let's see here. I'll specify 0 0.03125. And I'll select this guy right here and I'll offset him over there. Now what I'm going to do is again do the uh, line by midpoint. I'll just come up here off that uh, 16th of an inch and I'll go ahead and use my trim command. And I'll just select those two guys and trim them out. And zoom up on that. Get that out of the way. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and use my offset command again and I'll copy those over a sixteenth of an inch. So I should key in 0 0.0625. There we go. Grab that line. Make sure we select multiples. There we go. And just go down the line till I fill up that whole one inch mark. Typically on a ruler, you only do it on one uh, inch for the, for the sixteenths or thirty seconds of an inch because that's really all the detail and fidelity you're going to need on a ruler for that size. Okay, let's zoom out here and take a look at it. 